All right, everyone. So we're going to be going to the mall today. There's a bunch of stores that I want to go into and I thought, why not bring you guys with me? You guys really like my shopping videos. As you guys know, I film like three self-care shopping videos. So I thought maybe let's switch it up a little bit and let's do some clothes shopping, some makeup shopping, and let's just go to the mall and spend some money. So we're gonna go to a lot of stores today. There's a bunch of really good stores in the mall that I'm going to. I'm planning on making like a timestamp thing. So if you guys are like looking for like a specific store that I'm going into, you guys can just like, you know, watch the timestamp, whatever. But yeah, I'm excited, so let's go. So I just got to the mall right now. It is 9.55 and the mall opens at 10. So I'm literally here bright and early in the morning when it opens and hopefully it's not gonna be too busy. I mean, it's a Monday morning, 10 a.m. So it is actually freezing. I am literally shivering and I'm wearing, I'm wearing shorts, so. So this top right here is really cute. I haven't seen like any of these clothes since I haven't been to Brandy Melville in like seven months. I also really like their like basic t-shirts here. And I honestly do need a new pair of sweatpants because mine are kind of like destroyed. I kind of want to find something darker and usually their sweatpants like don't fit me right. But you guys, this bag is so cute. I honestly really want to get a bag today because I feel like I should just like start carrying one around instead of like carrying everything in my hands. And then they also have super, super cute tote bags and stuff. Let me see how much this is actually. Okay, 30 bucks isn't terrible, but like, I feel like I could definitely find better. And I kind of don't like the writing on it. I love this top so much. I also really like the design on these shorts and I like the little buttons right here. And I love their jewelry. I literally have so many of these little hoops at home. I think I'm actually gonna get these because my ones of these literally broke and these are like my favorite earrings. I honestly really like their jeans, but like they never fit me because my legs are too short. But if they did, like I'd be buying their jeans all the time. The chances of this fitting me are literally slim to none, but I kind of want to try it on too because I like like the baggy look for pants. I don't know. So this is what we have. We have some jeans to try on, a couple of long sleeve pants, and this top right here, and then this long sleeve bag here. I'm gonna try it on and I'll show you guys like how they look. So Brandy Melville was super fun. There was like a lot of new like clothes that I haven't like seen before, but every single pant, pair of pants that I tried on, they like did not fit. They were too long, just like I thought, but I always like give it a try every now and then just in case they like come out with pants that actually like fit the size of like girls with like stubby legs like me. But right now I think we're gonna go into Sephora. I'm so excited. I literally haven't been to Sephora in a while. Actually, you know what? I went last week. But I didn't buy anything. So I'm gonna look today and see if there's anything that I can find. I've literally seen this foundation everywhere, but I don't wear foundation, so like I would never buy it. And it also has like glitter in it or something. So this facial cream right here is literally one of my favorites. I love this one so much. It, it moisturizes my skin super well. And then these right here are my favorite face masks. I always pick a couple up when I'm here, but I already got so much for Christmas that I'm not even going to. This perfume right here is my favorite perfume of all time, but I feel like it just doesn't stay on my skin. And then they actually have a lip butter. I don't see it anywhere, but I feel like that would be really good as well. And I feel like this is like the drunk elephant one, but like for your whole body. But what I do want to find here is a powder puff. I've been wanting to try one of those forever and I feel like a brush just doesn't do it with my powder. So I want to look at the Beauty Blender brand. I believe that they have powder puffs, but I feel like they'd all be sold out because they're like popular right now. Yeah, they literally only have like beauty blenders and you know, makeup products. 
I literally want to find a powder puff so bad, but I just like don't know what brand has it. Yeah, I feel like these are like the closest thing to it, but they're literally sponges. So that kind of sucks. And they also have gua sha's here. I've always wanted to try one of these. I'm so surprised how I haven't already. A lot of people say there's benefits, but like, I don't know. I feel like I have to try it to like believe it. You guys, I literally had no idea that Gucci had makeup. I feel like I should have known. That's just like crazy. 64 bucks for this. There's like no way. But I've heard a lot of good things about the Inky List. It's supposed to be like an affordable, like good skincare brand. I've never tried anything from them though. So this right here is the pharmacy brand. I've tried the samples of it for my birthday, whatever. And I love the hyaluronic acid, but it's like 50 bucks. And I feel like I just like wouldn't stick to it. This moisturizer right here, the Honey Halo, the best moisturizer I think I've ever tried. It's like, it hydrates my skin so well. And it also comes with like this little, I, I don't know, like spatula? I don't know. And you like put it on the lid and it's like magnetic. I love that. And if you guys haven't tried the sugar lip balms yet, definitely go do it. These lip balms are so good. They also have like different like tints and stuff, but I always get like this regular one right here. I haven't tried like this one yet, but I feel like it would just be like the same thing. I just think the lip balms are like more convenient. And of course the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops are sold out. They don't even have them on display because I guess they're like so backed up right now because everyone wants to try it never tried anything from charlotte tilbury and i'm so surprised but if i were to try anything i'd definitely try the pink asm blush i just think it looks so good on other people so unfortunately i didn't find anything that i like really wanted at sephora there's like a bunch of stuff that i like wanted to try but like not enough that i feel like it would like make my whole makeup routine if that makes sense so we're gonna keep walking i literally forgot what other stores that they have over here I think there's like a cotton on body. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's basically like a shop with like a bunch of like smaller tops and like bralettes and like lingerie kind of stuff. And I really, really liked that store last time I went in. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything in there that's like good. But I literally forgot there's an airy here. So I think I might come back to this store, but we're gonna go to the cotton on body one first. And there's an Urban Outfitters here. There's a top that I want from there. If I find it, I'll show you guys, but if I don't, I'll like put it in the video somewhere. But this top is so cute. I've been thinking about it for so long. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. They have like a bunch of cute like bralettes and like bras and stuff. And this is so cute. I really, really love this shade of pink. I'm like attracted to a bunch of like pink things for some reason. And last time I was here, they didn't have like a lot of sweaters and stuff, but things like these, like pullovers, I think that's the name of it, are super cute. I also love this white one right here. I don't know why it's upside down, but but I love this whole set. I would totally wear this to the gym. And they have a bunch of shorts. I feel like I would never ever wear white to the gym. Just, well, you know. These little songs make me glad to call you. But now we're gonna go to Airy. I really wanna see if like the flare leggings fit me, like the crossover ones. I'm gonna go try them on if I find them. Hopefully they're not like sold out or anything. This whole like outfit I'm obsessed with. I love the bathing suit top. And they also have the bottoms right here too. The green is also so cute as well. I feel like that would make me look super tan, especially in the summer. So these ones are kind of cute, but I don't like the pocket. I just feel like that's awkward. And these ones fit me surprisingly because these are the shorter ones. But I think I want to find ones with like the crossover i literally found the flare leggings that are the short ones but it was an extra small and not a small and the extra small were just like too tight so i'm probably gonna order those today or something but right now we're gonna go to urban outfitters hopefully find that top that i've been looking for because that would be really really great because i want it so bad hand in hand exchanging letters guys they have the top that i wanted i love this color it is so cute i love the blue i think i'm gonna try this on i really hope it looks good because i would really be sad if it didn't and this pink one is also really cute too i think i might try this one on as well Me, i seem to ascend to the heavens above 
Urban Outfitters always has the cutest dresses. I just never wear them, but I love like these kinds of flowy dresses. I only get this for my room and put like rings on it or something. And then they also have the five minute journal. I've been wanting to get this for so long. But I think it's cheaper on Amazon because this is like 30 bucks here. I also really love this as well. It's kind of like hanging off right now, but. And they have more of these like tops that I was looking at, but in long sleeve. I feel like this would be like super tight though on the arms. But we're gonna go ahead and try on these tops and see which one I like the best. I didn't see anything else here that I really liked. So I'm gonna show you guys what these look like on me. I hope they're cute because I've been wanting to try these tops on forever. I honestly can't tell if I love this or if I hate it. I don't know, I'm just kind of like indifferent about it. So we're gonna try the blue one on and we're gonna see if that one looks any better. I feel like I definitely like the blue a little more. So I bought the shirt, like I said, I'm going to try it with a few more outfits and I'm going to try it in like better lighting because the lighting in Urban Outfitters kind of just looks like disgusting. So I'm going to try it on and see what it looks like more in like the sun, I guess. And if I don't like it, I got a receipt, so I guess we'll figure that out. And the last couple of stores I want to go to are PacSun and Garage. I haven't been to Garage in a while, so that's going to be exciting. I usually always find something that I love there and like they're clothing is like more my style never mind you guys i went into pakistan i did not see anything there was basically just like a bunch of hoodies and stuff so i like went in there and i like walked right out i did not see anything but now we're going to garage i think they're having a sale right now which is really nice So I really like this top, well, long sleeve, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna like it on, but I wanna try it on just to see if it actually looks good or if I'm just like, you know, being weird and it actually is like the ugliest thing ever. But this one is definitely cute. I love their graphic t-shirts and like long sleeves. So we're gonna see how this looks. So this one is on sale. I don't really think I like it. I just think it looks weird on me. Is your body next to me on rainy days? Just need your company, don't need too much. Just your simple love and 